CSI and Dollhouses. Today, on the Echoes Through Time channel, we will talk about a pioneer in criminal investigation. Francis Glessner Lee was an amateur American criminologist known as the mother of forensic medicine. She was born on March 25, 1878, in Chicago, Illinois, into a wealthy family. Her father, John Jacob Glessner, was a successful industrialist who co-founded the International Harvester Company, which allowed Francis to receive a privileged education and access to numerous resources. Although she did not attend college, due to the social restrictions of her time that discouraged women from pursuing higher education, she always showed a deep interest in science and criminology. She became famous for her unique yet effective method of preparing investigators to solve real cases, using dollhouses. Using her considerable inheritance, she created a collection of 20 dioramas that depicted crime scenes in meticulous detail. The furniture, doors, windows, objects, everything could be moved as if it were a miniature CSI. Each diorama cost over $3,000, a small fortune in the early 20th century. These dioramas were based on real cases she had learned about through the courts. Each was accompanied by a plaque summarizing the case and describing the real crime scene. Aspiring investigators used them to train in crime-solving techniques. These dioramas were not only educational tools but also miniature works of art, with details so precise they could deceive the most trained eye. Now, we will see some of the real images of these dioramas. Francis not only funded and designed these dioramas, but also played a fundamental role in founding the first legal medicine school in the United States. In 1945, she donated the dioramas to the Harvard Legal Medicine Institute, where they became an essential part of the training program. Her legacy continues to influence the field of forensic medicine and criminology, and her dioramas are still used to train modern investigators in meticulous observation and crime scene analysis. 
Her work helped establish higher standards in the collection and analysis of evidence, and her passion for justice and scientific precision made her a pioneering figure in the field of forensic medicine. Frances Glessner Lee passed away on January 27, 1962, leaving a lasting legacy in the field of criminology and forensic medicine. Subscribe to our channel for more videos.